All right, let's get straight to it. We're in standard tuning 4-4 time. If you want to grab hold of the chord chart and the groove track that I was just playing to, then hit the link in the description. That will take you to my Patreon page. If you sign up for just a dollar a month, you can have access to over 100 charts and it'll be a great way for you to support my work. Okay, so as always, we're going to start by looking at the chords in the order that they feature. Then we'll look at the timing and then the rhythm. So the chords are pretty straightforward for this one, but the fingerings are a little bit different. So take note of those. Um, it's pretty much a bar per chord with the last bar being split. So we're starting here on the fifth fret with an A minor seven. Okay, then we're going to slide up to the eighth fret for a C major seven. And then we're going to play an E minor. And then here's our split. We're going to go G major seven to G sharp minor seven. Okay, so as I said, it's a bar per chord with the last bar being split. So let me play it with a count so it makes sense. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, so for the rhythm, we're going to be arpeggiating through the chords. Um, for the A minor seven, we're playing uh, the low E, the D, and the G string. Okay, so with a nice mute there. bass note again and then slide up to the eighth. Okay, and that's why this fingering is important for the C major seven, so you can get your hammer on from the seventh, yeah, on the G string, to the ninth with the pinky and back again. So that's the sus two, that's the major third. Okay, so let me play those two together again. Okay, and then you're going to slide down to E minor. And the same rhythm, but we're going to play 6, 5, 3 with the mute, yeah? Open E and slide into the G. Yeah, and that's when you're going to go to G uh, major 7. Okay, and that's where you get the split bar. 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 1. And there's the repeat, okay? Let me play it through slowly. Yeah, with these close-ups, and then we can wrap it up. Again. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna wrap it up there. As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Remember, if you want to grab a hold of the chord chart and the groove track, just hit the link in the description. If you found the lesson helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date. And yeah, if you want to get in touch, then hit me up on Instagram. I'm pretty active over there. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care.